Um, it's green. What are you expecting in here? Colour big bass. Oh, look, somebody's left me count. That's sweet. Okay, colour big bass in here. Gold. What do you reckon in gold? Ten big bass. The white, black and white. Black and white bass or transition bass? Yes. We got some other friends here. We got negative numbers. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do the whole game. I'm going to do a little bit of it and you're going to see how it works. <gasps> Let's build a snake. Mm -hmm. Let's get excited. Did you notice that in the first snake I did a, like a seven and a three and then a six and a four just to get the pattern going yes. and then I started messing it up? Yeah. So that's what one little. Do, should we do that or is it? Yeah, yeah, you've done enough now. It's cool. Okay. Because you've got the pattern going and so we can just wrap some of these guys in. So this is a negative number. Because we know that negative just means the opposite of or going the other way on a number line, right? Negative doesn't exist, right? Because negative two, because they just happened to put zero where they put it. They, they actually moved zero in your lifetime. They've moved zero. <laughs> Thanks. When they moved to centigrade. Remember centigrade comes from Système International. How much does, if you take 100 degrees, which is the... If you take boiling point of water when it turns to steam and the freezing point of water when it turns to solid goes from zero to, it goes from solid through liquid to gas, right? Those two are different points. So let's take those two points and because we're decimal people, let's divide that distance by 100. We're going to call that distance 100 degrees, 100 steps. A degree just means a step. So 100 degrees. So zero degrees in Celsius is a freezing point and 100 degrees is boiling point, right? So that's where zero has come from. I have no idea what freezing point is in Fahrenheit. Something about minus seven and add 56 yeah. or something. What are you, what is it? 32. 32 is freezing, Fahrenheit. There is another zero that they invented. A dude called Kelvin came up with another zero and he called it negative 273 degrees Celsius. It's the same as zero degrees Kelvin. So there's actually three zeros out there. So it really doesn't matter. And like, negative one degrees doesn't look particularly different to one degree. It's just colder. It's not like the opposite of one degree, is it? Mm, no. No, of course it's not. Whoa! Oh, Terry. At 10, you tell me to stop. Oh, I didn't get these out yet. Um, so, Celsius came in as a system international based on decimal system to give us a degree structure that it makes sense to everybody based on water because we all have access to water. It's not about one group of people having an idea. We all have 10 fingers. That's why it's based on 10. A joule is how much it costs, how much energy it takes to take one gram of water and raise it by one degree. That's called a joule. Okay? A kilojoule is how much it takes a litre of water to raise that by one degree. The old word was calories. Now we use joules because kilojoules and centigrade all come from that system international. They changed all the measuring system. Okay? They were tempted to change the clock because the clock is still based on 12, but because there was a civil war in America, it didn't go forward. That's the reason. <laughs> Linda stood out there. All right, all right. In lots of ways. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? Ichi ni san shi go roku nana haichi cute ju. Boing, how many uncounted? Twelve, I think it's. Si, sir? Yeah, c'est ça. So far, so good. You guys have got this. You got this totally tight. The next step after this, which is not an ECU material, this has got um, subtraction in it. It's a subtraction snake game. But there's another step that has negative um, answers in it. 
we have negative tangent. So you could end up with negative 7, minus 14, minus 36, minus 12, da, 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 and you end up with negative golden bead bars. Kind of cool. But that's for another time. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Continue, continue à compter. Ouais. Non, bien. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. C'est bien. Très bien. Now watch this happens. Things are going to get a wee bit. This dude means goes backwards. So, go backwards. Okay, so just count backwards the same number of beads. Can you see how I have to line it up? Mm -hmm. Now by backwards. Just, just backwards, not yeah. forward. Okay. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, yes. Put the thing in. Good. Okay. How many left uncounted have you got? Four. Four. Exchange it for a four. Mm -hmm. This is a bit complicated, guys. Okay, this one comes down. Okay. This grey bar goes in here, the two goes back here, and the ten goes back in here. You never put tens in there at all. Okay. Hey, watch what happened, man! My snake's gone and got a bit small. That's because we're doing subtraction. Mm. Things get small. Mm. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Take out something, it's going to be smaller. The snake will get smaller. If you want to continue with this, please do. I'm not going to go through that. And then afterwards there's a verification, and then put out all the tens, and then you're going to match them all up to make sure that all of these equal however many gold bead bars you end up with. Yeah? So if... Yeah, you got it. Now count from there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. How many uncounted are there? One. Good. It all gets squashed. She don't use me in. Yeah. <laughs> I asked if she said anything. And she looks like she is. Shannon's barely on consciousness side. It's all good. Okay, so please, when you're doing practice, uh, supervised practice, have a go. Um, in yes. the beginning, there's a great one. Yeah. So how did you first set that? Was there like a certain amount of grades that you had to? No. no? Oh, it, was just it would have been useful. I thought about it, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking. If you add a 7 and then subtract a 7, like get up to 20, Just let's say, so you go 7 and 3 and 6 and 4 and then plus 7 minus 7, that would have been easy because it's easy just to roll that away, but we you can break into the another 10 and just count the uncounted and put the 10 there. Okay. And then, so you'd go back and set them up all up in line like you did last time, but have the grey ones separate and say oh, minus 30 off this. Okay. Just match the golden bead bars. And the colour, put the colour in the greys, and then put the colour in the golden greys. The ones that remain, and it should come up. Do you want to continue? I'm okay. Okay, so the answer is 9 plus 7 minus 6 plus 4 minus 12 minus 8 minus that came to 18. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Yeah. And you could do a verification.